Our next two quarterfinalists are no strangers after two previous Muay Thai scraps, Simon Marcus and Joe Schilling. I started my career, my pro career here in LA. I have a huge fan base and uh, the energy and atmosphere of fighting in LA is just amazing to me. When I look across this tournament field, I know that I can beat every single one of them. My name is Simon Marcus. I'm from Toronto, Canada. I'm 27 years old. I came from a rough childhood. Uh, I've always been fighting. Joe Schilling, you know, I give him credit. He's a good fighter. We had two fights. One, I knocked him out in the first round. The second was a unanimous decision. I'm a better fighter than Schilling. I'm tougher, smarter, stronger, and I'm going to beat him just like I beat him the other two times. Eight killers, the best middleweights in the world are in this tournament. We're fighting for a lot of money and a lot of respect, and all of us want it really bad. It doesn't matter who they give me that night, they're going to lose, and I'm going to be the last man standing. Considered by some to be the best pound-for-pound -pound Muay Thai fighter in all of North America, here is Simon Marcus. Making his glory debut, Simon Marcus, with an incredible record of 39-0-1, the 27-year-old from Canada. He's taken out the best of the best in Muay Thai. He's got a great teacher and coach, a Canadian Muay Thai pioneer, all the way from Chiang Mai, Thailand, Master Suchard, who's helped Muay Thai grow so big in Toronto and all over Canada. Five-time world champion, Simon Marcus, entering into the glory ring. His win over the world's number one at Glory 10 shocked the kickboxing world. Here is Joe Schilling. Huge ovation here for hometown hero Joe Schilling. Maybe he's a big fan of the Joe, uh, orange is the new black, coming out in his orange, of course, representing the yard in Los Angeles. Duke, break down the numbers for our quarterfinal. Well, our tail of the tape we're going to see here, which is going to be so important to set the, the tone for this fight. You're going to look for Schilling to use his height advantage to stay away from that lethal, vicious knees of Marcus, because that's where he's dangerous with his knees, and Schilling needs to box him up. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this quarterfinal scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, this WBC Muay Thai champion has wins over three of the tournament participants. His record impressive, 39 wins, no losses, one bout scored even, 24 of those wins by knockout. At six feet, one inch tall, 1.85 meters, he weighed in at 185 and one half pounds, 84.2 kilos, fighting to Tonight out of Canada and ranked number five in the world. Here is Simon Bad Boy Morgan. His opponent standing on my left and fighting out of the white corner, a two-time WBC champion and national champion. His record, 16 wins with five losses, 10 of those wins coming by way of knockout. At six feet, three inches tall, 1.91 meters. He weighed in at 186 and one half pounds, 84.5 kilos, fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Here is Joe, stitch him up. And your referee in charge of the glory ring is Big John McCarthy. Let's go, let's go, get him out. Right out. 
Turn it around, Joe. Simon, turn it around. Let's go. Get that mouthpiece in. Let's go. All right, talk about it. Get it out. Let's go. Stay there. Put it in. Simon Marcus taking his time to get his mouthpiece in. Big John McCarthy is our referee. Simon Marcus in the black gloves and the gold trunks. Joe Schilling in the white gloves and black shorts. Again, the key, as the guy said at the desk, will Simon Marcus struggle to transition to glory rules where he can't use his clinch skills very much? Schilling comes in with a spinning back fist. Fighters clinch up. Schilling. Landing a knee, Schilling coming out firing. Look at this action. And that's what Marcus does, he smothers you. He's really good to call in Thailand a walk-up fighter. He's gonna come at you and press. Schilling needs to use his footwork and keep his distance to let his good punches slide in there. Of course, Joe Schilling won the Glory 10 four-man middleweight tournament right here in his hometown of L.A. Showing knee to the body. Both fighters clinching up. They are throwing knees, and that's why Big John let him go at it a few extra seconds. Showing pushing Marcus back against the ropes. Kick there from Marcus as Schilling caught it. The fighters exchange. That was a long time in the clinch here in glory. Again, as I said, you can throw knees, but that will benefit Simon Marcus. That's a place Joe Schilling really doesn't want to spend too much time. I'm surprised he's, he's initiating a little bit more. He's real comfortable there, but he, he's doing good on the outside. Over. One minute to go in round number one. Remember, two knockdowns in a quarterfinal. In a round, three knockdowns in a bout. We'll end the fight. Oh, Joe Schilling, flying knee, pushing Simon Marcus back. Marcus just misses with an overhand right. Well, the one thing about Marcus, he gets you thinking about the clinch so much that now the punches are going to start sliding in because you're, you're, you're thinking he's going to grab you and then he punches you. Two, three, four. Got to get out of that clinch quicker. Ball fighter throwing with bad intention, just missing. Great action here in our third quarter. Final Schilling pushing the pace down. Big right hand at the end of the round. Let's go backstage and check in with Luke Thomas. All right, I'm backstage at the locker here of Bazooka Joe and Philippe Verlinden. I can confirm that both Artem Levin, the first winner in the last man standing tournament, and Philippe Verlinden, the second winner, they are going to move on to the semis, not just because they won, but they've been medically cleared. I've asked both if they have any injuries. They say no. And it should be noted, both of these guys were favored to move on. So it's been a tough night for the underdogs so far. But despite having pretty extensive records, neither of these guys have faced each other before. It should be interesting in the semis. Ron and Duke, back to you. Great stuff, Luke. We appreciate it. Let's check out the replays from the end of this round, Duke. There it is. There's what well, Schillen was looking for, that overhand right. You can see he did the little sloppy chicken dance. And there you go. He, he almost put him out there. That was a big punch and good follow-up. Joe Schilling attacking Simon Marcus. You are watching the last man standing middleweight tournament. Ron Kruk along with Duke Rufus here ringside. Joe Schilling looking to erase the memory of his loss to Wayne Barrett at Glory 12. Couldn't build off that monumental win of the four-man middleweight tournament at Glory 10. And he was upset by Barrett. If those two meet later on, there's a good rivalry brewing between Barrett and Schilling. More on that later. 
Robin, there's so many stories in this tournament between a lot of different guys. Spinning back kick from Marcus. Misses. But it looks like he's trying to find his range as the fighters exchange. Joe Schilling is in the corner. Knee from, and the elbow comes through. Fighters clinch again. Knee from Simon Marcus. All out war here at the forum. Simon Marcus mounting some offense here in the second round. Combination thrown by Schilling, not much behind it. Go just off balance, go after a little technique. 30 year old stitch him up, Joe Schilling. Enters in with a 16 and 5 record. Simon Marcus, 39 0 and 1. Again, Marcus knows Schilling well. Stop. He's won two fights over him, but of course that was in Muay Thai rules. Um, athletic spinning kick from Joe Schilling. Again, both of these guys are pulling out some, some tricks tonight. Spin kicks and just different moves you normally don't see from both fighters. One minute to go in round number two. Just misses with the left straight. Actually, Schilling's initiating the clinch there. I'm going to try and stay outside instead of initiating it. Schilling looking to land that right hook, and he missed. And Simon Marcus made him pay for it as he turned him into the corner. Schilling does not want to stand there in the corner as the fighters exchange, and Schilling goes down. Simon Marcus puts Joe Schilling on the canvas. Under 30 seconds to go Seven, in round number two. Eight, Ken Schilling nine. rebound. And you can see that Marcus was setting that right hand up. He was pushing him with the left, and boom. Here comes Simon Marcus. 10 seconds to go. The crowd on their feet at the forum. And it looks like Joe Schilling will survive. Simon Marcus drops Joe Schilling as that round was coming to an end. I could see that coming. It was a nice job. He was stalking him, walking him into the corner. He was reaching out to him like he was trying to clinch. He was touching, touching, and pow! Here's earlier in the round where he started to turn the tide here in the corner. You can see Marcus, he's, he threw that hook, cross. You saw that. And then again, he did the same thing. He pushed him in the corner. That's where he's been doing his business. He's stalking him, brings that right, the left, and that was right on the button. He just tenacious. Brutal combination landed by Simon Marcus. It dropped Joe Schilling. Take another look. Great shot there. The right hook. Schilling goes down, but was able to shake it off. Remember, three knockdowns in a glory quarterfinal will end this fight. This is the glory last man standing tournament. Joe Schilling and Simon Marcus, third and final round. This just got real, as my man Michael Scavallo would say. And it's going to get crazy because Schilling is going to need to drop him to equalize at least. Um, this is importance of knockdowns and damage in the glory last man standing tournament. Duke, how do you have this fight scored? You give one round for each. Yes, but the knockdown goes big because it's an extra point. But you can see Marcus is doing a good job of going back to the bank. He's trying to deposit another right hand into his, his account there and go big with it. Simon Marcus transitioning to the glory rules nicely. As you know Joe Schilling has that power punch to end the fight. 59% knockout ratio. High kick from Marcus. Schilling pushing forward now. As we are under two minutes to go in the third and final round. The mouthpiece flies out of the mouth of Simon Marcus. Schilling looking for the knee in the clinch. Schilling goes down, but that will not be a knockdown. 
These guys are fighting at a very exhausting pace. This is going to take a lot out of them, and this is going to really affect the semifinals. And it looks like Simon Marcus has been cut. Saw some blood on the nose of Marcus. It's a chance of USA rain down from here at the fabulous form. There's that right hand. See how he's setting it up. He's measuring it like a Pablo Creed did in Rocky One. He's just trying to measure with the lead and come with the rear power hand. Minute to go, round number three. Marcus slips. Knee delivered from Schilling. Now Schilling's measuring with his hand. We got ourselves a street fight. The blood coming down the nose of Ma Simon Marcus. This is a full-blown brawl right now, Duke Rufus. 30 seconds to go, third and final round. How can they keep up this pace? Schilling just bullying Simon Marcus now as we have under 10 seconds to go. That's it, what a fight. Wow, what a pace. These guys battered, bruised, and beat each other up. The fans here in LA appreciate that performance from both fighters. Now it's in the hands of the judges to see who will be moving on to the semis. If it's that man, Simon Marcus, we'll have to get a look at that cut. Doesn't look like it's too big. The side of the nose, though, but when you possibly have to fight three times in an evening, of course, that could be a factor. For sure, they'll have to get some ice on that if he does continue on. You know, it's in a good spot, though. It's not dripping into his eye, so it's just uh, gonna be a little painful and possibly swell up if he's moving on. We don't know yet. That's the drama. Well, it was all Joe Schilling early, and then Simon Marcus came back. Let's check out the action. Nice short right hand over the ear. He drove it out. I would have liked to see it a little shorter to chop, but that's how you rock him with the chop. But there's that first of hands we saw from Marcus that started to turn the tide that set that up in the second round. And here's our third round action. You know, yes, again, these guys are swinging dukes. They're going for it. Hard knee on the clinch, none of them that visibly hurt Joe to the body. Again, Joe came back with his right hand. You know, just a hockey fight. They're grabbing the head like it's a jersey and just swinging. <laughs> that knockdown could be the key to Simon Marcus moving on. Let's find out what the judges think as they tally up their scores, and we go to Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, all three judges score this bout 28-28, a draw. But according to glory rules, when we have a draw, we go one more. Joe Schilling and Simon Marcus looking to move on to the semis. That's why kickboxing is so exciting. We'll keep it going. Joe Schilling in the white gloves and Simon Marcus in the black. Who can finish this fight? That's the craziest thing about this sport. You're like, man, I'm going back to the locker room. I can't wait to grab some water, grab a seat, and oh, wait, you got to fight again. Look at Schilling. Goes for the high kick, and his leg goes over the rope. A knockdown would pretty much ensure the victory for either of these fighters. Low kick from Marcus. Schilling pushing forward. Combination. That right got through. And again, this is a huge advantage for our last quarterfinal winner who goes to the semifinal because now these guys got extra rounds in even more. So, so many different 
things going on, factors that are going to make for a winner of this tournament. Fighters clench, exchange knees. Knee was a little late, and Big John McCarthy warned Simon Marcus about it. Fighters hanging on now. No exhaustion has got to be setting in now. High kick from Schilling. And they're both throwing bombs with their legs right now. Big shin kicks. Schilling pressing forward. Halfway through this sudden victory round. And it looks like Simon Marcus is hurt. Joe Schilling with the big right. Uppercut. Simon Marcus hanging on. Big John is going to. He lost his mouthpiece. They put it back in. That will be huge for Simon Marcus. Can he shake off those shots from Joe Schilling? Back to the hands, Joe Schilling. You can take him out some. Schilling delivering right after right to the face of Simon Marcus. Uppercut just misses. Under a minute to go. For a guy with over 40 fights, you would think that. You would think that you could keep your mouthpiece in, and Big John McCarthy has had enough. He's taken away a point. This is remembering glory rules. Only one round. You're scoring in this sudden victory round, and here comes Simon Marcus. He still has a chance. Under 30 to go. Fighters clinch again. Again, you can see the fatigue on Marcus. That's why the mouth guard's coming out. Oh, and Joe Schilling ends this fight. That is all. Exclamation point, Joe Schilling. Took him an extra round, but did it in spectacular fashion. The form is erupting here in L.A. Schilling this, delivers the knockout blow. This kid loves to be in drama-filled wars in his hometown. He's a real-life Rocky. He's our Rocky, man, I'm telling you. This is the Philadelphia spectrum here, uh, except for him, the L.A. Forum. Look at that counter, and he knocked the mouth guard out again. That was beautiful. He slipped off to the side, came right over, Slipped it and ripped it. That was awesome. It seems only fitting after Big John took a point away for that mouthpiece that Joe Schilling would knock it out of his mouth. And what made that punch even more powerful, what Joe did as he was hitting, he dropped his head. When you drop your head while you punch, it drops your shoulder, your back, and that gives you the crack on that punch, and that's how you put someone out. That's KO 101. Joe Schilling, the hometown hero here in L.A., moves on to the semis. Let's make it official in Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, you watched it as it happened. We have an official time of 2 minutes, 41 seconds of a sudden victory round. This one ruined.